Nintendo enthusiasts they say there's a banjo there's a new image exquisite gaming they produce licensed merchandise of various franchises in pop culture especially for video games on Twitter they teased an image of a brand new banjo kazooie backpack soon to be announced or merchandise soon to be announced now, and the article says on top of that, Banjo is sporting a new backpack design in the image, suggesting that the merch is connected to a new gaming project. And this is what you have to know. EXG's video game merchandise have in the past launched alongside new game products. And so, all signs are pointing to a brand new banjo kazooie game boy bruh nintendo has mario sony has what does sony have i've never been a fan of sony's first party games no hate no hate no hate i got a playstation 4 pro but microsoft needs to brand banjo kazooie as their official mascot Ever since they acquired Rare, I've been scratching my head. What the have y'all been doing with Rare, bro? Rare <laughs> gave us Donkey Kong Country, one of the greatest platforming games of all time on that SNES. Rare gave us Diddy, K bro. Mario Kart is the king of carts. But I liked, if Diddy Kong kept coming out with new um, iterations, it would have stole Mario Kart's lunch money, bro. This game was better than Mario Kart 64. Don't at me, bro. I know what I'm talking about. You can fly in airplanes in Mario Kart 64. You can race on the water in hovercrafts in Mario Kart 64. This was the king of kart racing, Diddy Kong Racing. We only got one, bro. We only got one. And then you know what Microsoft did to Rare? They gave us this abomination. <laughs> this was Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. When this game was first announced, I was hyped until I saw the whole vehicle creation spin. Oh, this game had so much potential. What the people want, we want a real platforming Banjo and Kazooie game. You know what Microsoft is doing with Rare right now? They're giving us Sea of... Sea of Z's. But I've tried my best to like this game. I Every time I played this game, <laughs> I've had a horrible experience. I don't want to play this game anymore. I want Banjo and Kazooie. Bro. Just think. Because they're going to talk about their new hardware at E3. If they announce a Banjo Kazooie game launching alongside the Xbox 2? They won by. 
day one buy, bro. And if it's exclusive, I really don't think this next generation. Sony sort of already confirmed it that the PlayStation 5 will you'll still be able to play. There's gonna be some cro overlap with PlayStation 4 games and PlayStation 5 games. The games will probably just run better on the PlayStation 5. It might for the first one or two years of the Xbox 2, the same thing that there's gonna be overlap. So I think this game is gonna launch across all Xbox One and the Xbox 2 platforms if we get that banjo and kazooie love this game on the nintendo 64 bro this would be lit even if they announce they could they could they could do what nintendo does to mario with banjo and kazooie have a banjo have the first first we want to we want a platforming true platforming banjo kazooie game and then do a diddy Kong slash spinoff. I know we can't use Diddy Kong anymore, but you could use Banjo Kazooie the Witch, um, the Ooga Booga guy, and make your own kart racing game, bro. Crash Team Racing is about to drop. Have your exclusive kart racer, Microsoft. Bro, I'll be a day. Bro, the boss battles. Oh man, Diddy Kong was racing was just lit, bro. And to my Smash fans, Nintendo and Microsoft, they've been buddy buddy lately. What if at Microsoft's press conference they announce a new Banjo and Kazooie game? And that at Nintendo's E3, Banjo and Smash Banjo Kazooie and Smash, it'll be a win-win. Fans have been wanting Banjo and Kazooie in Smash, and it would help Microsoft promote um, their upcoming Banjo Kazooie game. Um, hey, Nintendo and Microsoft, they've been waiting. Who knows what kind of deals they've been having behind closed doors, bruh? With Cuphead coming onto the Switch. It just got quiet. But, according to um, this article, um banjo and kazooie um could possibly um, be at e3 in some fa shape form or fashion this company again they've often launched gaming merchandise alongside new game products and phil spencer did tweet on twitter that they're planning microsoft is planning on ha having 14 brand new IPs announced at E3. E3 is going to be lit, bro. E3 is going to be straight fire. I can't wait. Can't wait. I can't wait to watch. I'm really hyped. The two press conferences I'm hyped for. Microsoft's press conference and Nintendo's press conference. I want to see what both companies have to deliver. Um, this E3 is going to be lit. Even though Sony... Sony's a no-show, bro. Sony's like, we're going to do our own thing. But um, I think it's still going to be a hype E3. Square Enix, I think, is going in their place. They're set to announce something. Um, some Final Fantasy VII Remastered. We'll have to wait and see what, that, um, what that's all about. But I'm rambling a little bit. Again, just going to summarize, and I'm ending this video. Backup Biz is now following me. While I'm doing this video, he followed me while I was recording. Um, Exquisite Gaming, they've just teased brand new Banjo-Kazooie merch, pointing to some kind of E3 announcement for Banjo-Kazooie. It's gonna be lit. What do you guys think about this news? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things Nintendo. Peace.